All right, what's up, oh doers? Until now, we've been focused on working with a single work center for our Stealthy Wood manufacturing operations. However, if we want to scale our production capacity, we'll need to have multiple work centers in use at the same time. Now, we face a common issue that many manufacturers have to deal with, and that is manufacturing different products simultaneously across multiple work centers. Now, in practice, if employees don't want to wait for the main work center to be available, they can actually manufacture the goods somewhere else. But we still got to keep track of that. We don't want to lose stuff. Now, after all, tracking which work center was used and when is pretty vital for maintenance purposes. And it, en you know, it enables you to avoid non-productive time. And that's the worst kind of time, oh doers. Now, luckily, and this will always be the case, with Odoo, I can do all of that and keep track of Stealthy Woods manufacturing orders by allowing my employees to work at an alternative work center if the main one is already being used. But this all gets me excited. I always say that. So let's dive into our database and see what we can, you know, drastically do to improve our productivity with multiple work centers. All right, Odoo. So here I am on my database and I'm looking at the manufacturing dashboard. Now, if you didn't follow my previous videos, why didn't you follow my previous videos? The first thing you want to do then is enable the work orders feature from the settings menu. So you go up to configuration and settings and then you scroll down. Now, once enabled, Odoo automatically generates three default work centers just to get you started because Odoo doesn't leave you hanging. Now, those work centers are immediately ready to go. You don't have to wait. But to better understand what they are and how they work, you should wait and we should go do something. So let's go create a new one. All right, so we can actually access our work centers through this link under the work orders settings over here. Or you can also do it from the work centers menu under configuration. Now to make a new work center, we'll click on new. Let's name this one alternative assembly line with the reference code, and this is important, AAL for easy identification, because as you know, Jose Ignacio, he loves his acronyms. Now, I can actually customize the production information here. And for this work center, if I want to add values for efficiency, capacity, setup, cleanup, and all those types of things, I can do so. Now, if you'd like to know more about how these values affect manufacturing times, please check out our other tutorials on the subject. You know, and that will also be linked. Now, since we are going to set up this work center to be alternative to assembly line one, it needs to have the same equipment. We don't want to leave people hanging on that. So I'm actually going to go to the equipment tab and add the same machinery in this case. So we're going to add a line. I'm going to select, you got to have a Samsung monitor. And then we need a saw and some other stuff. And then we're going to save manually because I want to make sure this saves. Now with that taken care of, let's go to our list of work centers. So we're going to actually just use our breadcrumbs over here. And today we're dealing with a nice sourdough from San Francisco at my boss's favorite bakery. And we're going to jump into assembly line one. And now we're going to designate the work center we just set up as the alternative work center to assembly line one. And that's all we had to do. Now, once that you're done there, Manually save, save everything, always save. I always feel bad when someone loses stuff. Please save. Now, this work center has a capacity of one, which means it can only handle one manufacturing order at a time. Now, we'll actually go back to our manufacturing dashboard to see this new work center over here. Now, we can also see that there's something in progress at assembly line one. And that means one of my employees is already using that work center. And I don't know how you feel about that, but I want to actually kind of see that. So let's see what happens when I plan to manufacture something that would typically use the same work center. So we're going to manufacture the large meeting table, which I already created a bill of materials for, or a BOMB, B-O-M for my acronym lovers. Now that requires the use of assembly line one. Now to do that, I'm actually going to create a manufacturing order for one large meeting table. So we're gonna go into our operations, manufacturing orders, follow me here, new, one large meeting table, and confirm. All right, then I'm actually gonna jump over to the work orders tab, just so that we could see what's going on there. Now we see that by default, the work center that was selected for assembling this item is assembly line one, but, we can actually return to the work order and when we hit plan, 
the work center changes because assembly line one is already being used. You see that once that you do that, Odoo saves you the time. So if we want to manufacture this item, we're actually going to need to use the alternative assembly line over here. And that work center is the one that we had just set up. Now, if we go back to our dashboard over here, we'll see that we have the work, you know, the work orders all ready to go and it's ready to be launched inside of the alternative work center. Ah, and that is beautiful. That is exactly what we need in this situation. Now, there you have it, Odoers. Now you know how to handle several work centers and you can even organize your manufacturing areas and eliminate non-productive time. Now, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and this was just a quick tutorial just to let you know I got you. Have a great day.